Hi everyone, uh, so I am here today to talk about how massage can help cancer patients. Now, uh, there seems to be a kind of common belief, even among some therapists, that uh, cancer should not be treated uh, with massage, um, that maybe it will be too painful, or it may even help the cancer to spread. Um, but actually, research has shown that while uh, cancer certainly can spread via the lymph nodes, uh, the increased circulation of lymph fluid through massage actually, you know, does not cause uh, cancerous cells to spread. So massage is uh, considered a very valuable uh, holistic therapy aiming to treat not only the symptoms uh, or some of the symptoms in cancer patients but also the whole person um, but alongside conventional medicine so it's not a replacement for chemotherapy radiotherapy whatever medication um, but something that can work really well alongside uh, those treatments to, as I say, just to kind of help reduce some of the symptoms uh, that the person may be experiencing. So, um, you know, and it's not even in the terminally ill, it's not just, you know, early stages of cancer that massage can benefit, um, you know, for those in, in their end stages of life, um, massage can really be beneficial in improving their quality of life uh, in those final days. So um, there are lots of benefits. Uh, obviously, the most obvious one uh, would be relaxation, um, reducing anxiety and depression, which, um, you know, we know any kind of terminal or life limiting uh, disease will impact on your mood, will make you feel more anxious, will um, give you a tendency towards uh, depression. Um, and the thing that I love talking about so much in these videos, endorphin release, uh, the release of those endorphins through massage, you feel good hormones like your serotonin and your dopamine. Uh, they will really not only help to improve pain levels, um, but they also obviously really kind of bring down that, uh, you know, depressive mood, um, really, really help to, you know, boost that person's mood um, and reduce any anxiety. Uh, and in doing so, um, you know, when the client is obviously more relaxed, um, you know, uh, not having such sort of severe effects of depression, that in turn will also help improve any headaches that they may be experiencing. Um, and obviously sleep patterns as well will benefit from this. Um, you know, and anyone with, uh, you know, sort of serious illness um, that impacts on their quality of life, you know, if they're obviously suffering a lot of stress and anxiety through that, it's, it's going to, you know, keep them awake at night. Um, but if they're getting a good night's sleep and they're, you know, maintaining a, a good sleep pattern, they'll, you know, then wake up feeling refreshed um, and a bit more able to deal mentally with... Um, you know, with the, with the illness and, 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 you know, side effects of medications and things like that. So, um, so yeah, so the massage um, certainly will give the client a more positive outlook uh, and allow them to really just feel more positive, not only um, in mind, but also uh, about you know, their body too and, and sort of the physical issues associated with uh, having cancer. It will certainly, in reducing the anxiety and depression, it will certainly help someone to feel more hopeful, um, you know, which again, in, in sort of 
the earlier stages would be really beneficial, um, you know, in uh, just helping them feel positive, you know, that, that there can be a good um, sort of outcome from treatment. Um, and sometimes that positive frame of mind can almost be half the battle. Um, generally improving, you know, mental clarity, just helping uh, people to think more clearly about what they need to do, um, you know, to help them through a recovery period, maybe after surgery or to help them maybe make some changes in their lifestyle that um, would act as a preventive measure in the future. Um, you know, if they've come out of uh, sort of at the other side of cancer. Um, but also, you know, in terminal stages, it's mental clarity, maybe more in the sense of just finding some acceptance uh, of, of what is happening um, and just feeling hopefully a little less anxious about uh, those end days and, and less anxious about your own mortality. Um, so, and apart from this sort of general uh, sort of improved quality of life, I think massage also helps the cancer client share feelings that maybe they feel unable to share with those closest to them because they feel it might be, you know, a burden on them. Um, and so just by having that sort of private time with a therapist uh, where they are relaxed and they feel safe um, can just be enough to help them sort of release any you know, emotions and feelings that they're sort of holding in because they don't want to upset their family member or, you know, they just don't, as I say, they don't want to feel a burden. Um, and, you know, they don't want to give more stress to, to those that they're close to. So um, in that sense, it can be quite a good emotional release as well um, to have uh, massage therapy. Um, obviously, on the physical front, Certainly massage can help. I mean, we know it can help with mobility. So, you know, if you're getting stiffness in the joints, maybe because you've been having treatment and you've, you know, just sort of needed some rest time and you've not been as active as normal. Um, if you've, you know, been in bed for a long period in hospital or something like that, it could just help you know, maintain the muscle tone and, and flexibility. Um, improving scar tissue. Um, we know that massage can help to break down adhesions in the body and reduce scar tissue after surgery. Um, so certainly for people who have had um, a surgery and, you know, in that recovery period, um, Massage may be quite beneficial in just helping um, with the healing process and helping to um, prevent any adhesions building up internally, um, which can obviously then cause pain. Um, and to just help, uh, you know, any scar tissue from surgery to, you know, heal as good as possible so that you, you've not got this kind of built up um, area of tissue that, that that again can can then sort of affect flexibility and, and pain and things like that. Um, and again, and this can apply to whether you are in the early stages or if you are in, you know, a terminal stage. Um, certainly massage can help reduce nausea, which um, may be due to the, you know, just the fact that you have cancer. Um, or it may be caused 
you know, as a side effect of medications or treatments. Um, obviously, we know, you know, things like chemotherapy um, can will quite often, you know, cause nausea um, and fatigue as well. Excessive fatigue um, will, you know, will also be helped by massage. Um, so, and that's really where massage can be so beneficial, um, you know, in working alongside treatments. Um, you know, it's not gonna, massage is not gonna cure your cancer, but, you know, it can make you feel more prepared and more able to deal with, you know, the side effects of the treatments that can cure your cancer. Um, and, and I suppose also as well, you know, while we're talking about cancer treatments, things like um, uh, with chemotherapy, um, you know, if people are losing their hair, obviously that really impacts on your body image and your self-confidence. And, you know, we know that massage, you know, can really help you know, boost through the release of those endorphins and it, it can really help boost your sort of view of yourself and, you know, the way you um, sort of connect with your body as well as your mind. Um, and in radiotherapy, you know, obviously the scar tissue is quite an issue there. So again, that's where that's where massage comes in and just helping that tissue to heal um, and prevent, uh, you know, any sort of excessive uh, formation of scar tissue. So as we've just been talking about, um, you know, massage can help. Uh, with the cancer client, uh, right through from those early stages of being diagnosed, right through to, um, you know, terminal stages of cancer. Um, and uh, it can obviously also, as we've just said, be uh, very beneficial in terms of working alongside, um, you know, actual cancer treatments such as chemotherapy. Um, and the techniques that we use uh, while, you know, working alongside such treatments, they can be adapted um, as you would, you know, with every individual that you do any massage on. Um, you know, if the client is um, suffering from, for example, excess fatigue as a result of their treatments, then we can just adapt the techniques that we use um, you know, to, to, to really give a more, you know, ensure that the treatment is, is as efficient as it, it can be, um, you know, and you don't want to sort of cause any more fatigue. You want to really try and help increase the energy levels in that client. Um, generally, massage on any client with cancer should be kept um, lighter in pressure. Um, you wouldn't really want to be doing a sports massage. You're going to be looking more down the lines of a Swedish massage. Um, you should also really avoid any tumour sites, um, mainly because, you know, it, it, it may cause quite a lot of discomfort. Um, so you can just work around those. And also any radiotherapy sites um, or any area that may be bruised following treatment, um, again, because it's just it's going to be really quite uncomfortable. So uh, um, certainly scar tissue from radiotherapy, as we've said, can be um, can benefit from massage, but you would just need to, you know, wait um, a certain amount of time um, before you start working on that tissue. Um, also, another consideration is that if um, there has been lymph node involvement, for example, with breast cancer, um, the lymph nodes in the armpit are quite often uh, involved. Um, if those lymph nodes have been removed during surgery or potentially damaged by radiotherapy, uh, you know, the client more than likely may, you know, they may experience a buildup of fluid 
um, in the limbs. Uh, so if this is the case, then this should really be treated by um, a massage therapist who specialises in manual lymph drainage, just to help, um, you know, push that build up of lymph fluid, um, you know, through, back through the body. Um, so now obviously I've, uh, I've got a sort of past experience of having been um, uh, a nurse. Uh, I have been involved in palliative care cases. Um, you know, it's not just about helping maintain a person's dignity when they die. Um, obviously, that is certainly a very big factor. Um, but, you know, it's also about helping that person to maintain a quality of life until that time comes, um, you know, which can be very difficult if that person is in pain and, and, and being sick and, you know, they may have confusion and all sorts of other things. So, um, but in offering a massage service to these terminally ill clients, um, it can help alleviate the pressure on the families um, and the next of kins by just giving them a little bit of time where they can have a break. Um, but the therapist is still there to just provide that one-to-one -one physical comfort. Um, and again, we're, we're going back to the benefits of just human touch, that sort of basic um, you know, human need. Um, and that, that can be a really, um, valuable emotional support to the terminally ill client as they, um, basically come to terms with their own mortality. Um, and it means that they get that emotional support. Um, they get the physical comfort, um, but without feeling like a burden on their loved ones um, and without feeling like they're causing, you know, them more stress. So, and that, that in itself can really just, uh, you know, ease that client's mind and just help them feel less anxious, um, you know, which in turn obviously is, is going to benefit them physically. Um, in cases where uh, the client may be unable to um, tolerate uh, massage, maybe, you know, they, they might have sensitive areas, um, either due to just pain levels or um, due to treatments that they may have had. Um, in these cases, the therapist uh, can just stop, um, uh, you know, what they're doing at that particular time um, during the treatment, um, but just to maintain that touch. Um, so there's still that level of physical comfort there, um, but just by taking the pressure off um, and stopping for a moment, um, you know, and then restarting with a lighter pressure um, that can just help the client kind of take a breath and, um, you know, just just relax. And then they usually, you know, when you go back with a lighter pressure, they'll usually be more receptive, um, you know, to to the massage treatment. Um, The therapist will need probably to be a lot more flexible than um, they would be with other clients, um, you know, in terms of client comfort, um, in terms of their safety. Um, and I would say really, you know, if, if you are a cancer patient um, and you are looking for a therapist, I would say absolutely look for someone who has experience of um, the dying process and that has a good understanding 
um, of it because I think a lot as not only is it in terms of just knowing um, you know sort of the physiology and the the emotional um, sort of factors involved but also you know that therapist will then probably have very good boundaries and a very good sense of empathy in this particular situation um, and you know I've talked previously about setting intentions for a massage treatment they'll be um, probably much more aware of um, you know sort of how to set a positive intention that will suit that client's particular needs um, so yeah definitely check that um, really just to ensure you know that the treatment is as effective as it can be um, and I would say that even even if it's not in a terminally ill um, client even if it is in someone who you know is not in that end of life stage um, even having an understanding of these um, factors is still beneficial in in you know cancer clients that are in those early stages because these are things that still that person even if they might not say it are probably going to be thinking about um, but maybe just not sharing with with you know the people around them so um, so yeah uh, just make sure that the therapist has some experience of dealing with this so um, yeah so that um, those are the benefits of massage in uh, a cancer patient um, so uh, yeah any questions um, please feel free as always to contact me through my Facebook or Instagram pages um, but um, for now that is all and I will see you next time okay bye